Yes, it is. Yes, it is. So, my talk is on doubling the corneal utilization during COVID-19 pandemic. I do not have any financial interest. So you see that during this pandemic period, there is a significant shortage of donor cornea worldwide. US by 22%, Europe by 64%, and Brazil more than 70%. But the demand remains almost same. If we see the EBAI data, in the pandemic period, we have minus 80% growth, though the utilization has increased to 21%, but overall transplant decreased by 68%. This is the scenario of our iBank. You see that sudden there is decrease, maybe 60% level. So the concept of split cornea comes here. The concept is there already. A lot of people has talked about it. One cornea for two recipient or multiple recipient. So this review article shows that if we can use split cornea, in easier situation, one ALK and one EK, we can save 1.5 to 3% US and Europe data. And in extreme situation like one ALK and four quarter DMEC, we can save up to 25% of the donor tissue. During this period in India, we need a, a, large number of therapeutic or tectonic graft every day as a globe saving procedure. And people are using a lot of techniques, including the glycerol piece of cornea and non-viable gamma irradiated cornea. People are talking about it. There are pros and cons of every method. If you see our data during pandemic, the utilization rate between 97 to 114%. So the concept of this- DM site yes. during donor preparation, which is done through a three millimeter stromal window. And naturally, after the window is made, the anterior part of the tissue cannot be used for DALC or other surgeries. In the novel technique using BCL interface, we modify some of these steps. The tissue is first placed on a Teflon block with the endothelial side up and a 9.5 millimeter partial trephination is done. It is then stained with stripe and blue to identify the cut margins. The peripheral DM beyond the trephination is then stripped off. The DM endothelial edge is carefully identified and loosened all 360 degrees with an elevator instrument. Then, using Macpherson forceps, the DM graft is gently peeled from the stroma, almost entirely leaving behind a 1 to 1.5 millimeter hinge. We then move to a second Teflon block where a B cell is placed and refined to 12 millimeters. Trimming it down to size helps in better air mapping. A 3 millimeter central or slightly eccentric punch of the BCL is done. The trimmed BCL with central window is again stained with tripe and blue for easier identification. This is then placed onto the stripped part of the donor corneal stroma. Very carefully, the stripped DM endothelium is floated back on the BCL surface and the water soaked to prevent it from slipping. The hinged part of the donor graft is then separated and the entire DM endothelium graft is gently centered on the BCL. The interface fluid is soaked so that the graft sticks to the BCL due to surface tension. Now the BCL supported tissue is flipped over and air is trapped so that it doesn't collapse. The exposed desmets is dried carefully through the three millimeter window and the S-stamp is placed as usual. The BCL and DM complex is flipped back 
it is then placed on the second Teflon block with the endothelium side up. And now the final eight millimeter trephination is done. The DMAC graft is carefully transferred to the cup of the donor tissue and stained with tripan blue and subsequently washed with BSS. The stamped graft is now ready. It is then transferred to a Petri dish containing BSS, ready to be loaded into the injector system. The remaining anterior part of the donor tissue is then kept back in the preservative media, which is this anterior part can be used for uh, DAL surgery, but we do not have so many DAL patients. So the other use of this anterior part is a tectonic graft, large therapeutic graft. Even I have used this as a Boston Capro carrier. So during this pandemic period, we could save 9% of this. So in summary, in India, even before pandemic, there was shortage of donor cornea with increasing demand for corneal transplant. It is likely that we'll we will have to live with COVID-19 for at least next two to three years. Naturally, the burden will increase in coming years. So the backlog, this is the time to rethink about donor cornea splitting for multiple use for multiple recipient. Thank you very much for your kind.